Lacey here with the Sweet Pea Chef. Welcome back. Today, I wanna to share with you some of my top tricks for healthy eating and weight loss that have really helped me over the years. A lot of people approach weight loss by dieting and they hate their life, they hate the food they're eating, and it's just really no fun. That is not what I'm about. I'm about enjoying the journey, eating delicious food, and just having weight loss happen along the way. Sound good? All right, so let's get started. But before we go any further, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you never miss my weekly recipe videos, healthy inspiration, and also hit that bell icon so you get notified of whenever I send out a brand new video. Meal prepping is huge. So if you plan ahead and you make your meals and you have those ready in the fridge, and then you can go grab them when you're hungry and you don't have to worry about making your own food, it takes all of the extra work out of eating healthy. Next, portion control is super important. And when I say portion control, I do not mean eating a pea and a carrot for dinner, absolutely not. I mean eating what your body needs in order to feel full and energized. If you have larger portions than your body needs, all of that extra energy is gonna get stored as fat, so you don't want that. You wanna eat just what your body needs. Another important tip is to understand macros, breaking down what's in your food and understanding why a well-balanced meal is well-balanced. You gotta pay attention to the proteins and make sure they're lean, have your carbs be not simple carbs but complex, and be heavy on the veggies for your meals. If you need help portioning out your meals, a kitchen scale is a super helpful tool to have in the kitchen. They're not expensive and they'll help you understand how many ounces of meat you're having and all sorts of other measurements to, so that you can stay on track with your macros. A great way to take control of your own food is to start cooking your own meals. That means really taking charge of the ingredients you're using, the portion sizes you're making, and really just getting to understand what ingredients you enjoy and what's healthy and what's not healthy. Learn how to start identifying sugar in all the foods you're eating. If you have added sugar in there, it's gonna spike your blood sugar levels, it's gonna hurt your body, and it's just gonna leave you craving more and more sugar, which is gonna make weight loss very difficult. Definitely, you wanna be drinking water. Water is so helpful when you're trying to lose weight. It keeps you hydrated, and so you wanna make sure you're giving your body what it needs. Typically, you wanna look for about half of your weight in ounces each day for water. For example, I weigh 140 pounds, I should be looking to have about 70 ounces of water every day to maintain a healthy lifestyle. A great way to portion out your meals is to use meal prep containers. So I highly recommend investing in a good set of meal prep containers that you can take with you, you can reheat in the microwave because they will be invaluable for losing weight. If you're out at a restaurant and you can't go portion out your meal and you can't go measure how many macros you have, you can always not eat everything on your plate. You can just put some to the side, you can take it home in a doggy bag. Portions at restaurants are so much bigger than they need to be, so you do not have to eat it all. Pay extra special attention to nutrition labels. These are basically telling you everything you're putting into your body. Avoid foods with 10 ingredients or more, nitrates or nitrites, added sugars, food coloring, caramel coloring, MSG, and highly processed fats like hydrogenated oils. Did you know that your body actually tricks you into thinking that you're hungry when it's actually thirsty? That's because your body wants water and food has water in it. So it's just trying to get you to give it water as much as possible. So next time you feel hungry, instead of grabbing a snack, Try having a glass of water first. You might not even be hungry afterwards. It is one of the biggest strategies I use when I'm hungry to not just overeat all the time. Grocery shopping when you're hungry is the worst. So avoid doing that at all costs. If you need, have a high protein snack before you go grocery shopping. Otherwise, you'll be craving and buying and probably eating all of the carby snacks in sight. Remember to forgive yourself if you make a mistake along the way. Bottom line is you're human, we all make mistakes. You're gonna have great days and you're gonna have not so great days. The trick is to identify once you've made a bad choice and to stop doing it and just move on. All right, so this one's kind of a no-brainer, but you wanna keep healthy foods close. If you have healthy foods close, you're gonna eat them. And this is why people choose convenience foods like Snickers and things like that at the store because they need something close to them and that's the closest thing and they're hungry. Pack grab-and-go bags with pre-portioned amounts of healthy snacks so that you have them when you are hungry. Things like nuts and fruits and things that are easy to grab, easy to eat, and you have them next to you. If you struggle with lunches and you need a healthy lunch but you're not quite sure what to do because you work a nine to five and you don't have a lot of time, Prep mason jar salads or easy wraps so that you can have them with you. They don't require reheating and they're really easy to just grab and go. 
Don't be afraid to still enjoy the foods you love. All you gotta do is find healthy replacements for some of those unhealthy ingredients in the foods you already love. One way to spot sugar anytime in your nutrition labels is to look for the ending O-S-E in the foods. If you have an O-S-E, that means it's an added fake sugar and you do not want that in your food. Examples would be high fructose corn syrup, glucose, sucrose, maltose, dextrose. When you're grocery shopping, follow the perimeter rule. That means you're gonna go around the edges of the supermarket where things like produce and dairy and meats are, and you're gonna avoid all of that prepackaged stuff in the center like cookies and all sorts of unhealthy sweetened stuff. Make a grocery list before you go grocery shopping and stick to it so that you get all the things you need and you avoid all that prepackaged stuff that you don't. Using an app or keeping a food diary will be super helpful for you at first to get an understanding and a baseline for what types of foods you're eating and what makes them up. So if you're not sure where you are and you're trying to figure out why you're not losing weight, try using an app to keep track of everything. So losing weight isn't just about your food and your diet. It's also about how you sleep and does your body get rest. So definitely you wanna make sure you're getting a good amount of sleep each night. Have you ever noticed that if you wake up and you haven't slept very well, you're craving carbs and sugary treats all day? That's because your body is really trying to get you to give it energy by just giving it sugar no matter what it is. So definitely work on getting enough sleep each night. If all else fails and you don't have a lot of time, make use of a blender. Blending a smoothie or a protein smoothie is so helpful because you get a quick meal, you can add in healthy veggies and fruits, and you get your protein as well. You can also plan ahead when you're eating out at restaurants. You can look at the menu ahead of time and make sure that you know what you're gonna order. That will leave you having a good choice rather than leaving yourself up to being rushed and super hungry. Try to keep in mind that this is a clean eating and a healthy lifestyle journey. Weight loss is gonna happen along the way, but what you wanna do is you wanna focus on taking care of your body, being nutritious, and just enjoying the journey. If you hate drinking water and you're trying to find ways to add more water into your daily lifestyle, try having a glass of water before any other drink, before you have your coffee in the morning, before you have anything else. Or you could also add in some lemon slices or some fresh fruit to make it taste better while you're getting used to it. My top five healthy replacements for unhealthy ingredients are plain unsweetened Greek yogurt for sour cream, zucchini or quinoa or chickpea noodles instead of regular pasta, coconut sugar or raw honey instead of brown sugar or white sugar, smashed avocado instead of mayo on my sandwiches and wraps, mashed fresh berries instead of super sugary jam, and natural peanut butter instead of super processed regular peanut butter. Consider trying intermittent fasting as a way to kind of kickstart your weight loss. Intermittent fasting requires you to find windows of time where you're gonna choose not to eat and also windows where you're going to eat. You're still gonna have the same amount of calories you need each day, you'll just condense it into a smaller time frame. Okay, so we all know that exercise is good for you, it's gonna help you lose weight. One thing that I do with my exercise, which is strength training, which is awesome for weight loss, is I do it while I'm fasting. So in the mornings when I haven't eaten anything, I have my workout and then I have my post-workout shakes after that. And that really burns a lot of calories and uses up a lot of stored fat. All right, food is amazing. Donuts are awesome. Pizza, spaghetti, all of that is amazing. Don't withhold that from your life if you love it. Something I get asked a lot is, do I ever have sugar? Do I ever eat bad? And the answer is absolutely. I actually schedule it into my calendar. I have cheat meals so that I can enjoy a meal that doesn't follow any of my normal healthy eating rules because I like that type of food. If I want fried chicken, I'll have that once a week. If I want pizza, I'll have that the next week. I make sure to have that so that I don't crave it all the time. Then when I'm done, I move on and I go back to my healthy lifestyle. It's all part of the journey and it's all part of something that makes me happy as a healthy person. All right, so I hope that you're now armed with all sorts of healthy tips and tricks for your weight loss, for your healthy eating journey, and that you cannot wait to get started. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any more weight loss tips you wanna share below, go ahead and add that in the comments as well. If you're looking to get meal prep in right away, check out my meal prep for weight loss video, which has seven days of super delicious, healthy eating meal prep recipes. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.